Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up referential integrity and what it is in Microsoft Access. What is referential integrity? It's a logical dependency between two tables used to maintain consistency in your data. And basically the most important reason that you want to use it is because it guarantees no orphaned records. Okay, what does all this craziness mean? Let me demonstrate. Okay, I've got two tables, a customer table and an order table. The customer table has information on our customers, right? First name, last name, and so on. The order table has information on each order, including a customer ID so we can track each customer for each order. As you know from my previous videos, the customer is uniquely identified by his customer ID. That's called the primary key of the customer table. I cover that in Access Beginner Level 1, and if you haven't watched that video, go do that right now. Go on, go watch this video if you don't know what a primary key is. I'll wait. Go on. Stop holding up the class. <laughs> Okay, so the customer ID is the primary key in the customer table. Now, we're going to use that customer ID to track who owns each order. So the customer ID will be stored in the order table as well. There it's called a foreign key. It's a key value, but it's not the primary key in the order table. The primary key of the order table is the order ID. That's the primary key for that table. Okay, and if you don't know about that stuff, go watch my relationships video. Okay, I talk about setting up these relationships between multiple tables. I even talk a little bit about referential integrity in the extended cut for the members. But we're going to talk about it right now. Okay, so everything looks good so far. I got my customer table with all the customers. They all have a customer ID. I got my order table, right? Each order has its own order ID. That's the primary key. And then there's a customer ID to represent the customer for that order. That's the foreign key. Everybody with me? Now, here comes the problem. What happens if Jim Kirk dies? Right? He leaves the Nexus with Jean-Luc. The two of them go fight Soren. Kirk falls off a cliff to his death. Now, I recommend you don't delete records. You mark them inactive right, like have an is active field. That's a whole different video. Look down below in the links section. I'll put a link to my don't delete data video. That's what I recommend you do. Don't ever delete data like this. But let's say you didn't know any better, okay? You figure Jim Kirk's not gonna be buying any more photon torpedoes from your store. So you delete his customer record. Okay, now Jim Kirk's customer record is gone. And don't ask me about getting that auto number back. Remember, auto numbers are not for you. Don't worry about it. Two is gone forever as far as you're concerned. It doesn't matter. Okay. But now you've got three orders in your order table who don't have a customer associated with them. Now, this could cause any number of logical problems in your database. All right. The logistics could be all messed up depending on you know, what queries or reports that you have, maybe your year-end accounting needs some customer information, okay, especially if you don't have left joins and whatever, okay, there's all kinds of stuff that this could mess up in your database, all right, maybe you got to look up what state he's from to pay sales tax, who knows, this is just one simple example of what can happen if you delete the parent part of a parent-child or a one-to-many relationship, right, that's bad, so how do we fix this? Well, we can set up referential integrity between these two tables. So we can say, look, don't let the user delete a customer if there are related records in another table. And how do we do that? Let me show you. Okay, here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free download off my website. If you want to grab yourself a copy, we got a customer form that's based on the customer table. And there's an order form based on an order table. There's also an order details table to represent the line items. Here's another way you might want to set up referential integrity between the order table and the order details table, right? You don't want to delete an order if it has detail items. All right, so let's set, let's set this all up. Ready? Okay, we're going to go into database tools, 
relationships. Now your relationships window's probably empty. Go to add tables. We're gonna bring in the customer table, the order table, all right? Now, we're gonna make a relationship between the customer ID here and the customer ID there. We're gonna start over here, we're gonna click and drag and drop it on customer ID. Just like we're doing in a query. Now, the edit relationships window pops up. We're gonna click on this guy right there that says enforce referential integrity. All right, that's gonna basically mean you can't delete one of these guys if a matching record exists over here. There are some other options. I talk about these in my full classes. Be very careful with these, like cascade delete, for example, means if you do delete a customer, it will delete all of his orders. That's very dangerous. Don't use that, okay? I, there are some instances where you do wanna use it, like with temporary data, but just it, it, trust me. Okay, don't touch those ones. All right, hit create. You'll see this relationship pops up there. And now you've created a relationship with referential integrity. Let's go test it. I'm gonna save this, control S and close it. Let's go to the customer form. There's Richard Rost. All right, oh, let's go to Jimmy Kirk. We were messing with him earlier, right? Jim Kirk, go to orders. Okay, so he's got some orders in here. All right, three of them in fact. Let's close that. Let's try to delete Jim Kirk. Ready, delete. Oh. Can't do it. This record cannot be deleted or changed because the table order T includes related records. Okay, you can still make changes to some of the other fields. You can change that, you can change his name. Okay, but you couldn't change this. You can have a primary key that's not an auto number. I don't recommend it, but you can. So that's what the changed part means. You can't change that. That's what that cascade updates is for, which you'll never use, trust me. Okay, <laughs> there's, there's, there's a lot to this folks, trust me. I spend hours and hours covering all this stuff in my full course. I'm just giving you the, the, the basics. Okay, you might wanna do the same thing between orders and order details, right? You don't wanna be able to delete this order too if there are details on it, right? So let's set that up too real quick. Let's do it again, ready? Database tools, relationships. We already got order T in here. So we're gonna add order detail T right over here. All right, we're gonna set the relationship up using order ID. Same way, enforce referential integrity and hit create. Okay, save it, close it. Now come back into here. All right, go into one of Jim Kirk's orders and let's now try to delete the parent order. Delete, same thing, see? So there you go, that's referential integrity in a nutshell. Use it to prevent deleting parent records in a one-to-many relationship. And it's got lots and lots more uses. I talk about it a lot more in my Access Expert Level 2 class. We'll go into a lot more examples, some different stuff, all the nitty-gritty. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to post them down below. I hope you learned something, and we'll see you next time. How do you become a member? Click on the Join button below the video. After you click the Join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full length courses found on my website, not just for access too. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are gonna keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. 
Make sure you click the show more link down below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like level one, level two is just $1. Yep, that's all, $1. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website. You can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.